Box is as simple as A, B, C. Breathing holes will ensure that the bees don't suffocate. No point in trying to kill bees that are already dead. There you go. You got a box, throw the bees in, close the lid, close the latch. I'm probably going to tape it up just in case. And then uh, we'll start killing bees. Splendid. Now for a spot of bee wrangling. All right, worst case scenario, like a whole bunch of bees get into the suit and they start stinging the heck out of us. What do you do? Well, what you might want to remember is bees always fly up. So like when I'm up there in my overalls, you, you, you open up the top part and let them fly up and out, up and out. You know, run, first run, <laughs> unzip, run, you know, pull up everything and, and they'll try to fly up. So now you know. We are ready. Take us to your leader. Take us to your leader. <laughs> Laughing in the face of terror, our amateur apiarists are led to a busy hive. <laughs> they're all filled with honey, nectar that hasn't quite formed into honey at the moment. Dead bees walking. Now we're just going to put a few bees in the box. Gonna... When is a bee a guinea pig? When it's unlucky enough to end up in Tori's bee box. Thank you, little baby. Are we done with this? Look before things get to the running and unzipping stage, they make a quick exit. Back at the shop, the bee governor has failed to grant a last minute reprieve, so Tori gets down to work. I have one spray bottle filled with water, one spray bottle filled with vodka, and so now I'm going to test them in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray five times into the bee box with the vodka. 